Hi, I'm Jill. Thank you for joining me in this stretchy yoga class with some lovely strength poses. This is meant for beginners or intermediate yogis. And if you have a block, I'll be using the block in several poses, but you don't need to have it. So let's get started. We're going to be starting ly lying down. Cactus arms, stretch your legs out and connect to your breath. You may also choose to stretch your arms out real long if you have room. You may put a hand to your heart and to your belly. I invite you to connect to your inhalations and your exhalations. Breathe. Draw your right knee to your chest and roll it out a little bit. Just some movements that feel good to you here. You can open the knee up a little bit, move it around. Just release into the stretch relaxing into your stretching and breathe. Take the right knee and cross it over to the left side. You can use the block if you like under your knee. You can keep your arms in cactus or straight to a T and perhaps look over to the right side with your head. A little extra stretch. Breathe. Relax your face and relax your jaw. Just check in to see what you're feeling. Continue to breathe. Engage your core, release your right leg back in. Bring your left foot down to plant near your bum and raise your right leg up. As if your right leg is up against the wall, you can have a bend in it. You might want to twist your ankle a little bit here. Flex and point, whatever feels good to you. Moving into recline pigeon, cross your right leg over your left. Draw your hands to the back of your left thigh and bring your knees closer to you. This is a wonderful hip release pose. You can use your right elbow perhaps to push up against your right knee for a little extra stretch. Just take your recline pigeon to where it feels good for you. Breathe. Lower back down, release the legs, feet planted. Draw your left knee in and extend your right leg out straight. Repeating the series on the left side. You may wish to roll the left knee around a little bit. Move it however it's feeling good for you. Continue to breathe. Twist over towards the right, perhaps using the block under your foot or under your knee. And maybe your head goes towards the left side now. Aim to keep both shoulders on the ground as you aim to stack hip over hip in these twists. The side might feel different than the other and that's perfectly normal. Breathe. Release the left knee back in and extend it high. You can bring your right leg back to where your right foot is planted near your bum. 
and with any kind of bend in the knee that feels good, you may again want to point and flex the left foot now. Just take your stretch where it feels good for you and breathe. Cross your left ankle to the top of your right knee. Hug your knees in close to you for recline pigeon on this side. Release and relax into this stretch. Breathe. Relax into this stretch. Realize there's nowhere else to be right now. Nothing else to be doing. Just breathe. Release your legs and come to a nice pencil stretch, extending your legs and your arms out long. Point your toes, point your fingers, and just get a nice, long, full body stretch here. Mm. Bring your feet back to plant near your bum and bring your block, if you have it, between your knees. We're going to do little mini hip releases here, mini bridge poses. So I want you to follow your own breath, just tilting your hips up ever so slightly to press your lower back into the earth. Go at your own pace with your own breath, inhaling your hips up just a little bit, a couple inches, pressing the lower back into the mat and releasing back down. Getting some nice spinal release here and going at your own breath pace. Moving into high bridge, release your palms down next to you and tuck your shoulder blades under as you lift your hips high to where you'd like to build your bridge, pressing into your block. Setu Bandha Saravangasana Bridge Pose. We'll stay here for several breaths. A little shaking is normal. A lot of activation going on here. A lot of work by major muscle groups. Try to relax your shoulders and your head. Just keep pressing into the block and breathing. Start to come down very slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Hug your knees in here and roll from side to side. Mmm, feels so good. Release your legs down, come up on your forearms and prepare to build any variation of a boat pose. So you might have your feet and knees in alignment sort of at a 45 or 90 degree angle. When you have your balance and you're feeling good, you can extend your arms out, palms up. Core very engaged here to keep things lifted. You may want to add little toe touches to the ground. In yoga practice, the choice is always yours. Release, come back up. You can remove the block if you had it there. Come around to a neutral tabletop for cat cows. Round your spine up like a cat. Look towards your navel, chin to chest, and then inhale, drop your belly. Open your heart. Take your cats high. Draw your shoulder blades back on your inhale to open your heart up. Exhale, 
to your cat, look towards your navel. Repeat your cat cows with your breath at your pace for a few more rounds. Come to neutral tabletop, extend your left leg back, flexed foot. Lift the leg in alignment with your body, lower down, tap the earth, and just lift it up a little bit, lowering to tap and lifting. Keep your core engaged, variation of balancing table, and then cross that leg over your right leg and look towards your foot. You should feel a nice side stretch all along the left side of your body. Breathe. Keep your fingers fanned out, putting pressure into your fingertips, your knuckles, and your palms. Draw the leg back in and push back into child's pose. Surrender into the stretch. Keep a little tilt in your pelvis and breathe. Lift back up into your neutral tabletop and extend your right leg out. Flexed foot, energy to the heel, lift and lower. Inhaling as you lift, exhaling as you lower or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Keep your core engaged and then swing your right leg over the left, look towards that right foot. You might be feeling that stretch now on the right side of your body. Check in to what you are feeling, breathe. Come back into your neutral tabletop and push back into a child's pose of your choosing. Breathe. You may want to push your fingertips into the mat. I feel a greater stretch in my upper back when I choose to do that. Walk your hands back in, place them behind you, hips on your heels, and inhale to raise your hips up. Feeling this nice stretch in the front of your thighs, your quads, you may be up on your fingertips a little bit. Then come back to sit on your heels, lift up, prepare for camel. You may want to put your hands on your lower back. Lean back to where you are comfortable. Breathe. Release your hands back down to neutral tabletop. Draw your knee up in between your hands and create a pinwheel formation with your legs. We're moving into pinwheel push-ups. I like to make sure my hands are splayed wide as I inhale and then just bending at the elbow, feeling this in the back of your arms, your triceps, lowering your body on your exhale to somewhere just over the knee where you're feeling this in the back of your arms maybe through your chest is an isolation of those muscle groups feel free to move your neck and your head in alignment or in a more dramatic posture of movement it's all up to you keep your elbows closed in and take these little pinwheel push-ups with your breath. And come down, maybe have your block nearby if you'd like to rest your head on the block or just on the back of your hands. We'll stay here for several slow, steady breaths. Try to release and relax into the posture, noticing how your body feels and coming back to your breathing.
start to release back up to your neutral tabletop. Draw your toes under and prepare to send your hips high for your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, relax your head down, shake it out. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breathe and push back towards your thighs. Come back down to neutral tabletop and bring your right knee in between your hands at the top of the mat, creating your pinwheel. Breathe and inhale and keeping your elbows close to your body, bend to lower your torso down. Inhale to push up. Exhale to release your torso down. Again, you decide if you want to keep things in alignment or you want to take dramatic movements. The focus will be on the triceps here. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to lower. Take a few more pinwheel push-ups following your own breath. Feeling that in the back of your arms. And then when you're ready, start to lower down now for a more surrendered pose of release and relaxation. Breathe. In this moment, all is well. In this moment, your breath is cascading in and out of your body, connecting you to the divine source of life and love within you. Be aware of your breath in any given moment. Breathe. Place your hands underneath and push back up. You may move the block to the side a little. Come into neutral tabletop. Curl your toes under and send your hips up for downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Push back towards your thighs as you stretch and breathe in your down dog. Gently lower your knees down and bring your left foot to the front of the mat between your hands. You may want to move your right hip forward. Just get a nice hip release here for the right front of your hip. And come back to your knee over your foot. Walk your hands up into a low lunge. Anjanyasana, inhale your arms up. Shoulders away from ears. Breathe. Rain your hands down, straighten your front leg, and come down into a variation of half splits. Ardha Hanumanasana. Feels so good to the back of the leg. This is one of my favorite poses. Just relax into it. Breathe. Push back into your neutral tabletop and draw your right foot to the front of the mat, lowering your left hip down to open your left hip flexor. You may want to use your block. Do anything that works for you. This is your practice. Walk your hands up into your low lunge and inhale your arms up tall and strong. Shoulders away from ears and breathe. Rain your hands down behind you and straighten your front leg. 
Letting your arms fall on either side to the mat wherever you'd like to place them. You may want to experiment with using the block here. The choice again is yours. Just breathe into this lovely stretch. Come back into your neutral tabletop, curl your toes under, and come up into your downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out your feet if you like, let your head hang. Extend your left leg up, point your toe, and swing your foot then to the front of the mat between your hands, preparing for warrior one. Your back leg will be on a 45 degree angle. You can walk your hands up your leg. Adjust your clothing if you like here. Your hips will be at a 45 degree angle. Inhale your arms up and turn your torso towards the front. Breathe. On your next exhale, you'll lower your arms down into warrior two. Feel your strength and your power in your warrior two pose. Some good power in the back and the knife edge of your back leg, your back foot. Reverse warrior, your back hand comes along your leg, palm up and over to stretch into your reverse warrior. Swinging over to extended side angle, you may want to bring the block with you. Long stretch from the tip of your finger down to your foot. Stay lifted. Use your block if you'd like, or just bend your arm, rest it on your thigh, very lifted from your waist. Straighten your front leg, build your triangle pose, maybe scoot your back leg in a little bit, arm over arm, trikonasana, triangle pose. Imagine you're up against that wall and someone is pulling your hand from on high, staying buoyant. Turn to look towards the mat, hips facing the ground, preparing for high lunge up on your back toe, bend in your back leg, inhale your arms up, knee over ankle, Ashta Chandrasana, high lunge. Exhale to tilt. This is really a great strengthening and balancing pose. Inhale your arms back up, exhale, tilt forward. Inhale to come back up with your arms and exhale just to tilt. Frame, bring your hands down to frame your foot at the top of your mat, like a runner's lunge here. You may want to push with your foot, moving and opening up your hips in a runner's lunge. Lower your knee down. Come back to neutral tabletop, curl your toes under, send your hips up for downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet if you like, shake your head a little, breathe, and we'll repeat that series. Right leg comes up, point your toe, send the right leg to the top of the mat between your hands, and perhaps walk your hands up your leg, adjust your clothing if you like, maybe bring your block in, Inhale your arms up when you're ready and turn your torso towards the front for your warrior one pose. Your left foot will be on a 45 degree angle here as if you're trying to rip the mat apart with your feet. Exhale your arms to warrior two. Look over that middle finger and feel that power. You are so courageous coming to your mat warrior person in this world thanks to your divine guidance reverse warrior arm down along the leg 
your right arm up and over. Nice side body stretch here. And on your next exhale, swing your arm down, maybe using your block for extended side angle stretch. Breathe. Maybe scoot your back leg up a little bit, straighten your front leg, build your triangle, arm over arm, using your block or not. Imagine yourself up against that wall again. Stay lifted. You may look up at your hand if that feels good to you. Lower your arm down, turn your body and your hips towards the mat. Walk your hands back up, curl your back toe under, nice bend in your back leg, lift and inhale your arms up, high lunge. Exhale to tilt and repeat these high lunge tilts following your own breath, inhaling to lift your arms up and exhaling to tilt forward with your torso and your arms just a little bit. Inhaling up and exhaling to tilt. Bring your hands to the mat, framing your foot, runner's lunge, move to where this feels good for you. Breathe. Lower your knee down. Come back to neutral tabletop and push your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Breathe here. Notice what you're feeling. Try to let go further into the pose. Gently lower your knees to the mat, sit back onto your heels, shift your bum to the mat, swing your legs to the front. Inhale in a staff pose, arms up, exhale, fold. Any amount of bend in your leg is fine. Breathe into this lovely pose. Surrender into the stretch. Start to walk your hands back up and come to a supine or lying down position. Extend your arms up overhead, a nice long pencil stretch here, pointing your toes and your fingers, long, long stretch. Bring your heels close to your bum and cross your left leg over your right. Let the knees fall over to the right side. Arms might be in cactus or to a T, whatever is working for you. And you may wish to look towards the left side. Again, aiming to keep your shoulders connected to the mat, aiming for hip over hip. Breathe into the twist. Engage your core and lift your knees back up. Draw the knees close. Grab hold somewhere near the ankles or on the shins for reclined shoelace. Wherever this stretch feels good, just breathe into it. Release your feet back down, uncross, cross your right leg over your left, drop your knees to the left. Cactus arms or to a T, you may wish to look over to the right. Check in to your body in this twist. 
Relax your jaw and breathe. Engage your core, lift your knees back up, keeping the cross, draw your knees in for your reclined shoelace or cow facing pose. Grab hold wherever it feels good. Rock or stay still. The choice is always yours. Start to unwind, happy baby pose. Grab hold of your feet, inner or outer, maybe even your shins if you prefer. I like to keep my lower back connected to the mat. Rock your baby or stay still. Breathe. If it feels good to you, grab hold of your feet for recline butterfly. Let your knees just fall open. Maybe massage your feet and your toes a little bit right here. Feels good. Keep your butterfly if you prefer and let your feet fall to the mat. Again, letting your knees just open Relax your face, relax your jaw, and prepare for your final stretch. Stretching long again into a, a pencil stretch. And now your Shavasana pose. Take up space, let your feet fall open, shoulders away from your ears, palms up and prepare for just a few minutes of silence to really integrate the work that you've done during this class. Feel heavy into the earth. Feel your body relax, surrendering into the earth, melting into the mat and starting to focus again on your breath, inhaling and exhaling, slow, steady breaths. This is your time for quiet meditation.
bring your awareness back to the present bring your feet up wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes maybe turn your body towards the side I like to give myself a little hug so proud that I came to the mat so proud that you came to your mat today you are strong and amazing I believe that I am loved guided and safe I invite you to repeat after me I am loved I am guided I am safe namaste